Hey, here's Tim, Spoonman Ball Pythons. Got a new video for you today. Uh, pulling some eggs from my pastel yellow belly. But first, you gotta sit through the intro. See you in a minute. Hey guys, Tim back again from Spoonman Ball Pythons. Hey, came in to check on the snakes this morning and we got a girl that laid some eggs. So um, we got a, she is a pastel yellow belly and she was bred to a banana spider. So we're gonna pull those eggs now. It looks like she's got a big stack of them. Um, the most eggs I've ever had is seven. So we're gonna see if we can break our own record here. So let's get to pulling her out and we'll uh, separate the eggs and see what we got. And here she is, this is Fat Girl, on a nice stack of eggs. So we're going to find her tail here. So she doesn't upset the eggs. There we go, and you can see how empty she is. Nothing left in her. So this is Fat Girl. Yeah, let's grab these out of here. We'll set them there temporarily. I'm gonna put her back in the in the tub and put her back in the rack, but she'll get a full clean. We'll wash her and we'll wash out the tub so there's no uh, no remnants of. Uh, egg smell and stuff that's just so that she'll go back on food and put her weight back on so let's put her back in the rack and see what we have here it looks like one two three four five six seven eight eggs they all look nice and plump and healthy i'm gonna go ahead and weigh these Any guess on how much eight eggs weighs? What's your guess? I'm guessing 870, no, 820. What's your guess? Give me a guess. 815. Oh. 810. That is 781. So I win, I so, get closer. <laughs> so just under 100 grams per egg. All right, let's separate them out here. Do this without tearing them. All right, there's one. Two. Oh, the rest of them are coming out real easy. Three. Seven and eight. All right, so we're gonna pause here a minute to get the lights shut off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and candle and make sure they have good veins. And there he is. You can see the embryo right on top there. Did 
did that in the last video too. You'd think I'd learn. All right, there's the embryo there. The sliding is really blurry, just to let you know. All right, there's a little one that's a little bit easier to see. The embryo is right there. You can see it move around. There you see the round embryo. Dark spot is the actual embryo. And then this part that you see moving around around it is a air bubble right there. And you see the good eggs feeding the embryo. Or the, the good veins feeding, feeding the embryo. And there you can see the dark spot. There's the embryo right there. And there's a really good one. You can see it really well. The circle right there is the... And then you see the embryo right there. Again, there's the embryo, the dark spot right there. And last one. There you see the embryo right on top. All right, we'll take a break from here and get the lights back on and wrap it up. Okay. So as I've done for my past three clutches, I'm gonna go ahead and put the press and seal over them. Um, obviously there's a lot of arguments either way for press and seal whether you need it or not but I started out using it and I've been successful so if it ain't broke I'm not gonna fix it all right and we got to do a little labeling on the side of the of the egg box but there it is sealed up got the clutch card on it and it's ready to go so we'll see those in 60 days hopefully have some nice healthy little babies That's it. all right so there you have it uh, my girl is all cleaned up washed up uh, we put her in a fresh tub with fresh bedding fresh water um, and of course that's to get the smells out so that they go back on food and they don't smell those eggs in their tub and on their bodies. So yeah, eight healthy eggs. That's our biggest clutch yet for Spoon Man Ball Pythons. We'll be back soon with another video. Until then, take care of yourself, take care of your families, and we'll see you in the next video.